All right, hey, Gratuitous here. In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the transport buttons on your MIDI keyboard in FL Studio. Before getting into the video, if you guys would like to learn FL Studio, check out my free book called Five Keys to a Successful Beat. So simple, it becomes creative. Get it by going to itsgratuitous.com forward slash five keys. Essentially, I always think about the transport buttons like a pilot who's flying a plane, they have all the buttons in front of them. This allows us as the beat makers to have control over our music program for a really good workflow, okay? So the transport buttons are these six buttons, stop, play, record, back a bar, forward a bar, and then we have the loop button. Not all MIDI keyboards come with a loop button, and if you use FL Studio, I personally suggest to get a MIDI keyboard with the loop button. It allows you to switch between song and pattern mode for a really fast workflow, okay? This MIDI keyboard is the M Audio Oxygen Pro 49. I really, really like it. I have an in-depth review on it. So step number one is making sure that you actually installed your MIDI keyboard properly. And you do that by first, even before you uh, plug in your MIDI keyboard or anything, go to the website of your MIDI keyboard manufacturer, install the latest drivers, then you can plug in your MIDI keyboard, then you can turn on your MIDI keyboard if your MIDI keyboard has an on and off switch, which the Oxygen Pro has one, which is always nice to have. Step number two is making sure that FL Studio actually uh, recognizes the MIDI keyboard. Whenever you're trying to troubleshoot in FL Studio, always look in the top left, okay? So right now I'm gonna hit some notes. You're gonna see that nothing gets registered up here. No drum pads, there's a knob here which you cannot see, or like the sliders. So FL Studio does not recognize the MIDI keyboard. So we have to actually enable the MIDI keyboard in FL Studio. The keyboard shortcut is hitting F10, okay? Or you can come up here to options and you can see here's MIDI settings, here's F10, okay? So first of all, we have to enable the MIDI keyboard. So here is the Oxygen Pro 49. There are a couple ones which I'll talk about in just a second. Uh, so if I enable it, now you can see the notes are now working, okay? The drum pad is working. The knob is working. There are different colors in FL Studio. Green, um, orange means that it is assigned, okay? Green means that it's not assigned. And then if you have blue, that's what's called global links, which you can check out my other FL Studio tutorial about project links and global links. Okay, so FL Studio now recognizes our MIDI keyboard. Let's try the transport buttons. You can see that it does not recognize any of these buttons. So for this particular MIDI keyboard, MIDI in three, is our transport buttons, okay? And for this particular MIDI keyboard, they suggest to use the Mackie Control Universal. I will share with you, if you have the Oxygen Pro, I wrote a free MIDI script, it's 100% free. You can access it on the image line forums. And this gets your transport buttons working how I normally have seen a MIDI keyboard in FL Studio. But first of all, I wanna walk you through what kind of problems you can experience first of all. So. By default, you're gonna be on the generic controller and you have MIDI in three. In the case of this MIDI keyboard, you'll have to try which one does your transport buttons for your MIDI keyboard. For the Oxygen Pro, MIDI in three does the transport buttons, okay? I have it enabled. You can see that with the green um, right there. You don't need to be setting up any port numbers or anything like that. So you can actually see that FL Studio is recognizing the transport buttons now but it's actually sending out MIDI notes. So stop button is A7, record is B7, back of bar is G7, okay? That's not what we want. So for MIDI in three, uh, the manual for the Oxygen Pro says to use the Mackie Control Universal, and I'll show you it works, but it's not how I know to use FL Studio. So we have the stop button, which now works. So essentially we're getting close, stop, play, right? We have record, and you can see that this gives you like that fast workflow. Now here's a couple things on why the Mackie Control Universal one, why I don't like it. So for example, if we go forward a bar, um, it just goes just a little bit. I usually like it to do, uh, to do a full bar. Like if you use your number pad on your actual keyboard, you can hit the asterisk or the forward slash. And if you wanna learn more about that, I have a course called um, The Power of the Number Pad in FL Studio. Just visit itsgratuitous.com. So off of the number pad on my typing keyboard, I can go full bar and I like that workflow and I wanted to mimic that for the um, MIDI keyboard. And as you can see, it, it, it doesn't do the, the full bar. The next thing I told you about the loop button. Okay, so the loop button usually switches between song and pattern mode. And this is just nice for workflow. For the Mackie Control Universal on the MIDI in three, when I hit the loop button, you're gonna see it changes uh, the snap here. And I just find that doesn't give much 
you know, it doesn't really make sense. So I wrote a free MIDI script. This is on the ImageLine forums, 100% free. And if you use the Oxygen Pro, all you do is you install it. You can check out my other video about how to install a MIDI script and you just click here. Okay, and so now we have play, we have record, we have the loop button, forward a bar, back a bar, okay? So depending on your MIDI keyboard, you may have to select a different controller type. Uh, you can also check the image line forums to see if there's a free MIDI script. And in this case of the Oxygen Pro, we have to install it on the MIDI in three, which is our transport buttons. The Oxygen Pro is all of our, um, just kind of notes, CC parameters, like our, our sliders and stuff like that. And uh, be on the lookout for um, the update to uh, my premium add-on of this Oxygen Pro. You can see I have a plugins one and you can see that I'm, set, I'm trying to get this set up to be able to switch between different uh, presets from the MIDI keyboard itself. So let me just uh, back out here before we wrap up the video, okay? Okay, so here is Nexus, a super powerful rompler. I always suggest a rompler to someone who wants to learn to make beats because these are tailored towards beat makers. We just select high quality sounds. So for example, let's say we wanna um, come out here into the categories. Let's say we wanna go to uh, the lead sounds. We come over, you can come down and this is all off of the MIDI keyboard. So I'm able to go up, able to go down and I'm able to hit uh, enter and it loads it up. Let's say, maybe we don't like that sound. Try another one. <laughs> Some of these sounds, you have to learn how to use them as a beat maker. Sometimes like this kind of sound isn't really good for chords. It's a single note preset. Depending on this type of music you're kind of making. So this might be more beautiful. All right, but I can select the presets right from here. Let's say we want to go to something more beautiful. We're going to come up here to the guitar. And uh, this is just the last one and then we'll wrap up the video, okay? So let's go like Chill and Bob maybe. Beautiful. Okay, so that is this tutorial for how to set up your MIDI keyboard's transport buttons. I'll hop, hop to this one. So again, your transport buttons are your stop, your play, your record, back a bar, forward a bar, and the loop button. Not all MIDI keyboards, again, have the loop button. And if we go into FL Studio quickly, again, the loop button switches between song and pattern mode in the top left. And for me using FL Studio for so many years now, I'm telling you that this is the workflow I have known and it's super fast. I really, really like it. So the Oxygen Pro 49 with FL Studio has given me the best workflow I've ever had for FL Studio. One last thing I want to say. So MIDI scripting was introduced into FL Studio 20.6. And from that time on, there's been a lot of updates to MIDI scripting, which is good, which is giving us more access to the MIDI keyboard to customize it for FL Studio however we want, okay? So before 20, uh, FL Studio 20.6, MIDI scripting was not available. So in other words, if your transport buttons were not working good and we were here in FL Studio, uh, if, if, you're, if you had a controller type, for example, if we were on MIDI in three, if we had a controller type, and if we were not able to get our transport buttons right here working good with any of these, we were kind of stuck. But now we can have custom scripts which allow us to get this MIDI keyboard or essentially any MIDI keyboard exactly how we want. And it's so powerful, okay? So that's it for this tutorial, okay? That's how to set up your transport buttons. Gave you a little insight to the Oxygen Pro 49 workflow. For the price, I think this is a good product. Um, and I shared with you that you get the good workflow. All right, so if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. I try to respond back fast. And if you guys, again, would like to learn FL Studio, just visit me over at itsgratuitous.com. I have beginner stuff, intermediate, advanced stuff, everything from beat making to arrangement and all that stuff that you need to learn to make beats as a beat maker. So um, I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Leave a comment.